Well, hello, everybody. It seems like you guys are sleeping in today. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Can you believe it is already July 1st? Oh, my gosh. This year is half over. That is crazy. I cannot believe that it is July 1st already. Oh, my gosh. So, it's July 2023. And it's noon today, so we are doing an early video today. And it looks like most everybody forgot that we're not doing date night tonight. So um, it's just a few of us right now. So hey, Vicki. Hey, Debbie. Spice Girl. Hey, Linda. We're waiting for everybody to get on because I think everybody forgot. Hey, Carrie. Oh, Vicki is a celebrity now. Hey, Hilda. Man, I'm sitting here drinking milk and eating a bowl of grapes. Ew. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> hey, Becky. Hey, Karen. Hey, Cynthia. All right, so I think everybody's waking up. Now we've got 32, so that's good. We went from 4 to 32 in about a minute. Hey, Anya. I guess it's daytime for you now instead of like 1 in the morning. Hey, Stephanie. All right, everybody's getting up. This is good. This is good. I was worried everybody was going to forget today. Hey, Lisa. So, I was hoping I'd have a date tonight. I haven't got one yet, but I'm still hopeful. I'm talking to a guy, so um, I'm hoping we're going to make plans for tonight. I'm supposed to talk to him um, after the video and uh, see what we're going to do today. Hey, Colette, Colette. Hey, Betty. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Linda. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, so far, we are having a heat wave. It is 90 degrees today, and I think it's going to be 95 tomorrow. It is ick. Hot and humid, and there's not a breeze. It is too hot to do anything. Uh, <laughs> Joanne says, grapes and milk doesn't sound very good, but I don't, yeah, I don't drink milk anymore either. I used to love milk. I drink, like, milk by the gallons but then i found out i was lactose intolerant so i drink almond milk now but um i only drink it in cereal and stuff and use it to uh, put in stuff but i don't drink milk with grapes that sounds really gross vicky <laughs> it's nine o'clock in washington well it's noon here i did sleep in till about eight o'clock this morning Give me his phone number. <laughs> well, he works at night, so he didn't get off till like, uh, I don't know, midnight or something. He's probably still asleep. He told me he called me when he got up. So, um, Texas, it's 91 now, gonna be 100. Ick. Hey, Tony. Didn't know you were doing a video early. Yeah, I said something on the last one, because uh, um, fingers crossed that I'm gonna have plans tonight. Even though it's going to be so hot, I really don't want to go out anywhere. The grapes are really sweet, and the milk doesn't give me gas. <laughs> Keeping it real on this channel. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> Never know what you're going to get on this channel. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is just the grossest combination. <laughs> I can't even imagine putting grapes in milk. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you where I got this idea from. So I told you guys I was having a class last week and I did framed art. So we did um, a big framed art and we did a little bonus framed art piece. So this was the bonus one, and <clears throat> I got the Dollar Tree probably 10 years ago, and I had them, had about, I don't know, 12 or 15 of them sitting in a drawer, and uh, they've just been sitting in this drawer forever, and I was cleaning out some stuff, and I said, I gotta do something with these. So they were just like little shadow boxes, and so I said, I'm gonna do a little project with this. So I'm gonna do a video on this on Tuesday. No, oh, you know what? I'm not doing a video Tuesday. I'm glad I just said that. Because guess what? What is Tuesday? It's July 4th. And guess what? I have to work. So um, what's, what are we gonna do? Uh, 
I guess I'm gonna try and do a video Thursday because I have to work, or I could do it. No, I can't do it in the morning because I'm gonna have to work all day. Yeah, let's plan on a video Thursday instead of Tuesday because um, I have to work all day, too, Monday and Tuesday. So I did this as my bonus project. I love, love, love this brick embossing folder. So this will be the next video and that will be, let's plan on Thursday. Um, and I'll show you how to do this. And if you don't have these little um, frames, this is like a five by five almost uh, shadow box that I got at the Dollar Tree many, 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 many years ago. I don't even know if it has, it doesn't even have a year on it. So I, I know they don't have, I, it's gotta be at least 10 years ago I got these. Um, but we're gonna do that one. So that was my mini project and then this, Wait till you see it. Everybody get ready to um, say, <gasps> ooh, this was my big project. So my camera's crooked. So hopefully there's not a glare on this. Oops, wait a minute. Let me try to get the glare off. Okay, so this was my big framed art project that they got to make. And I think I way undercharged for this class because I charged $25 for this class and after I did it, I said, that was way, way too much work to charge $25 for because I cut everything for them and the frame was included. And I thought to myself, that was a cheap class. <laughs> I cut everything. All they had to do was put it together and stamp like three things. So um, I'm gonna do this as a video also and uh, probably next Saturday maybe. But so this is where I got the card idea from. So I put this as my focal point of the framed art. And so that's where this part came from. And so I just turned it into a card. So today um, we are gonna do the card and you have the choice. This is the new card kit. So if you are one that orders, you're not a, if you're not a demonstrator and you order from me, um, you have the choice of doing vertical, or horizontal so which one do you like better because that's what we're gonna make today do you like the horizontal one I mean the vertical one or the horizontal one so we will make whichever one you like the best and then we're gonna play around with some color because I did it in just the earthy colors and then you know to match my frame dart but then I said oh what if we try some different colors just to see what it looks like so I brought some more markers with me so we can try the um the other colors because I thought like berry burst and maybe pool party would go good with the um peacock I have to use peacock because that's the color paper I brought but um other than pretty peacock we could put two other colors with it and I thought that would be really pretty so it uh, looks like unanimous is vertical okay so almost everybody likes the vertical I don't see any horizontal so that's okay all right so let's get rid of that one well, that was an easy one. All right, so, oh, one more thing. So do you like the green um, pearls or do you like the silver pearls? That's the other choice. Or, um, well, if we're gonna do this one, we're gonna do the big words too. So which color pearls do you like the be best to match? Because I thought these are kind of like pool party color. And these are just the silver. These are the fef festive pearls. Green, green, green. Everybody likes green. Okay. All right. So that is it. All right. So this will be what we're making today. Um, don't forget, this was the card kit that just ended yesterday. So if you ordered in the last two weeks, you'll be getting this card kit. I'm going to start cutting this weekend. Hopefully get them all cut. And um, in the mail Monday, I hope. Um... If not Monday, it'll be Wednesday because there's no mail on Tuesday. Um, so hopefully these will go in the mail Monday um, if you ordered in the last two weeks. So I will do my best to get that done this weekend if I can. So, <clears throat> so this will be the new kit, um, three of these, if you order from now until the 15th. And also there is a new special that starts on the 6th. Why it didn't start today, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is maybe they're trying to catch up with the shipping because they're still 
about a week behind. So maybe they're trying to not have any specials for a week and um, catch up on all the shipping. So that's my only thing I can think of. So on the 6th of July, there's a new special <clears throat> and it's called Bonus Days. And that is right here. So search July 6th. So you're gonna earn a $5 coupon for every $50 you order. So if you place a $50 or more order, um, you'll get $5 coupon emailed to you and you're gonna save those coupons and you can spend them in August. So if you order um, $75, you'll get $5. If you order $90, you'll get $5. If you order $100, you'll get $10 but it's for every $50. So you wanna make sure if you're close to that $50 increment, you go ahead and bump it up. So if it's $99, you're still gonna get $5, but if it's 100, you'll get 10. 150, you'll get 15, 200, you'll get um, 20, and so on. So the more you order, the more you get. So you'll get those um, rebate coupons and those are good for August orders. Okay. Uh, Vicki said, I'm glad you're a math teacher. <laughs> it's easy because it's just $5 for every 50. So, <laughs> um, so it's basically like 10%. <laughs> so if you order $1,000, you'll get 100 <laughs> coupons. <laughs> $100 in coupons. Um, I got some things to show you some show and tell so I showed you um I mean I told you guys that I was going to my um upline Melissa's house <coughs> I don't know why this happens this happened last time too I started talking and I started coughing and my throat was getting all tickly as soon as I turned the camera off it stopped I don't know that was so weird I it's like this nervous tickle that was just the weirdest thing last time and now it's doing it again Hold on. So, I went to my upline Melissa's house, Melissa Ellis, and she did um, this thing for me and my... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I need to get something to suck on. Like a mint or something. I don't even have any gum in here. <coughs> But um, my friend Colleen Magnus and my upline Faith, we all went over there and she made us a um, framed art project to do. <coughs> I need some grapes. <laughs> I need some milk and grapes. <laughs> now I got tears coming down my eyes. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Canadian smoke cough. <laughs> No, we don't have any smoke here. <coughs> oh my God, what the heck? Ugh, I'm choking, choking. Um, oh my gosh, I need something to, to suck on. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to chew a piece of gum. <laughs> Maybe that'll wet my throat. So, I think it's a fan. As soon as I walked in here, it started again. Oops. <laughs> Turn the light off. All right, you guys, I'm dying in here. <sighs> okay. You can hear me down the hall. <laughs> okay. Nervous about that date. Okay, I'm okay now. Mm. Okay. <sighs> all right, I'm all right. Um, 
anyway, so um, Melissa made us dinner and <coughs> here I go again. Um, this project, so here we go. This is what we made. And we used this stamp set, which I didn't have. And I thought it was so cute. Isn't that adorable? So we made another framed art. Don't die, that one girl just caught you live. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, Beverly, I'm usually not coughing like this. I'm trying not to die on live TV. What's up, fine Faith? Faith is the person I signed up under. Finish the card before I die. <laughs> you guys don't care about me. Just care about the card. <laughs> anyway, this is what we made at uh, Melissa's house. So she did this project for us and we made it. And then we all brought a project to make too. So that was fun. So I wanted to show you that. Um, this is the stamp set that we're using today. It's called Inked and Tiled. It's on page 95 in the big book. So if you don't have it, you can get it. I love it, love it, love it. Hello, everybody. Oh, a person. <laughs> Vicky says, I thought it was more of a direct line to God. <coughs> now it's getting so hot in here. <laughs> I turned the fan off. I feel like I'm dying in here. <laughs> now I'm sweating. <laughs> oh. Okay. <clears throat> this is the strangest thing that this just starts right when I turn the um, <coughs> camera on. But if you don't have the set, I love it, love it. You got to get it. It's one of my favorites. So I love that. And then we're using the exposed brick embossing folder. This is gorgeous. Love it. Okay. Let's see if I can get through five minutes without coughing. You will die of a laugh attack. Okay. So I put stickies on everything because I wasn't sure which one we're using. So let me pull out the ones we're not. So we're using these and these. Okay. All right. So here's what you need for this card. So you need the back piece, which is five and a half by eight and a half, pretty peacock. And then your inside piece, which is five and a quarter by four white. The embossed piece for the front, which is also five and a quarter by four white. And that's embossed with the exposed brick. Then the piece that goes down the middle. This is the one we're going to stamp on. This is two and three quarters by five and a quarter white. Let me move this one down here. And then this little piece right here. This is, what is this? It is one and three eighths by seven eighths, I think. I didn't have a little sticky note small enough to put on that one. So that's your pieces. If you want to take a screenshot. <coughs> what? We don't like this stamp, Vicky. I love this stamp. Yeah, I don't like the punches either. I bought the punches just because they came with it, but I don't really like them. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So, <clears throat> you guys think of a color combination. I brought the, let's see, the core color ones and the brights. So, <clears throat> think of some colors that you think might go with Pretty Peacock out of these. I'm thinking... Berry Burst and 
Costa Cabana would be pretty. And maybe, mm, I don't know. Think about it. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is stamp all the words. So that just goes on the little piece. So we're just gonna do follow your dreams. And um, of course, I don't remember what stamp set that comes from. So somebody help me out with that one. Anybody remember? The yellows, oh. Well, I already have a yellow. Because I've got um, crushed curry already on it. Because <clears throat> the first three colors we're using are, this is crushed curry, Cajun craze, and then the pretty peacock. So if we want to switch it out and do um, two other colors, we want to switch out these two for something else. So what you're going to do, let me just dip these real quick. So just dip your paper in your ink pad. Like that. I think I'm getting um YouTube phobia or something. I can't go online anymore. I might have to stop doing videos. <laughs> what would happen if that happened and I couldn't go online anymore? <laughs> We'd be in big trouble. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our stamp. We're gonna start with the lightest color. <coughs> and you start at the bottom. Make sure you use the side of your marker because you don't wanna ruin your tip. And color the bottom, half of that. And then you go to the, the top of the flower. And color the top. with the side and then you take your pretty peacock just put a little bit at that bottom tip and then color your stem and your petals now here's the important part because while you're coloring it's drying out a little bit so you got to go give it the Darth Vader huff I got ink on my finger make sure you stay right in the middle of your paper and stamp it. And then while you still got a little bit of ink on here, go to your inside piece and huff it again. And then put it down here. Then go and do it one more time. And you still get a little bit of color left. <clears throat> so that's the inside. All right, so you want to clean that a little bit. All right, so did anybody think of another combination? I'm going to try that. Um, let's see, what's this one? Lost Lagoon. Hmm, that might work. I'm very burst. What do you think about those three? I think that would look pretty. Anybody else have color suggestion? Please do not stamp the flowers in the mud color. Hmm. Okay, well, I was going to do that, but... Crap, I don't own markers. Uh, Vicky, what do you mean you don't own markers? What the heck? It looks too scribbly. Vicky, you need to stop talking. You're just complaining too much. No more complaining. Berry or lavender one. Pretty flowers with the punches. Mm, yellow. You do a lot of dipping now. Yeah, I love dipping the paper in the ink. Um, could you do the same thing with the blender brush and your ink pads? Yes, you could, but the um, markers make it darker. The um, sponge daubers would make a lighter color. I love that set, but I have too many stamps. <clears throat> I'm your honest fan. 
Yeah, but if you can't say anything nice, then don't say anything at all. <laughs> Berry and bubble bath. Okay. Let's try that. We'll try these two. Okay, so first we'll do these three. And then we'll do... Wait a minute. What's that one? Oh, that's Freesia. Oops. I think that's bubble bath. Yeah, that's bubble bath. Freesia might be pretty. All right, so let's try these three next. So I'm going to do um, Lost Lagoon. And then I'm going to do the Berry Burst at the top. And these are the new markers. Oh, this is going to be pretty. I can tell already. Oh, my gosh. Love it. And you don't want to go straight across because you don't want to get, like, just this line right across. So kind of go, you know, a little bit jaggedy. And again, I'm just going to put a teeny bit of the dark right there. I can tell this is going to be, like, ugh, beautiful. And then we got to do Darth Vader. Mm, it's going to be good. Oh, oh my gosh. I love that one. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I love that is my favorite right there. Okay, let's get the inside piece. Mmm, love it. <sighs> okay, you just get that really light color. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful combination. Okay, let's try the last one. We're going to do... Make sure that's good and... Uh, cleaned off. Probably should have my cleaning pad. Alright, so this one we're going to do the bubble bath on the bottom. And the uh, berry burst. And the peacock. All right, here we go with this one. I'm finally calmed down. Mm. That was weird. Oh, that one's pretty too. Oh, you know what? The bubble bath got a little mucked up because I didn't clean it all the way. I should have my cleaning pad. Well, that would be prettier if I had it cleaned all the way. Oh, well. Well, let's try it. Let's see if we can clean it better. I'll lick it with my finger. <laughs> you know who did that one time? Shelly. For those of you that have been around a long time, Shelly's the, used to be the, well, she still is the owner of the company. I just licked my finger and did it on here. So hopefully that cleaned it <laughs> She did that when we were at a convention one time and everybody just was like, oh. <laughs> she licked the stamp and all of us were like, oh my gosh, she didn't just do that. It was so funny. Let's see, do I have another piece of paper in here? smaller ones. Oh yeah, that came out good. So that's a little bit of cleaner version with the bubble gum. I mean bubble bath. <laughs> Got my mind on bubble bath. Oh, that just comes out pretty. Love it. Okay. I think my favorite is this one though. I love it. So this one is with Coastal Cabana and Berry Burst and Peacock. 
Love, love, love that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is sponge the, um, the brick part on each of them. So you just want to go down the edges with your blending brush. You don't have to get like every, every single spot. If you leave some white areas, it's no big deal. And some of it's going to be covered up too. I was thinking about going to sit outside today in the sun, but darn, it's really, really hot out. And, oh, there's no breeze. It's just, ugh, and humid. That humidity is here. I think for the summer. It's so funny you guys all like the vertical because I, after I did the both of them, I thought I liked the horizontal better. I don't know why. I think I liked more the brick showing. Got a funny joke for you. Somebody sent me one. It's really funny. Okay, and then the flowers we're going to rip and do a distressed edge. So I'm pulling it towards me. Just taking off about maybe a quarter of an inch off of each edge. Uh-oh, wrong one. That's a short one. So forget that one. And these are all two and three quarters. So after you rip off the edges, they're gonna be about two and a quarter. And if you have the markers, even if you have the old markers, you can still do this, because I use the fat tip. And the secret to ripping is just to keep your thumb right next to where you're ripping it, all the way down, as your guide. Now I really like this purple one better than the earth tones. I guess it just depends on what were the colors put together for the flower. Which one? This one was, um, Crush Curry and Cajun Craze. And then this one was the Bubble Bath, but it got mucked up. This was Bubble Bath and Berry Burst. And this one was um, uh, Coastal Cabana and Berry Burst. But this one, the stamp wasn't clean, so it got mucked up a little bit. I love that Berry Burst and Peacock together. Anybody do anything fun for the 4th of July coming up? I got to work all day, but I get double time plus holiday pay, which will be awesome. All right, so the insides, we're just going to glue down. And I made an awesome breakfast this morning. I got up and I said, mm, I want something different than cereal and strawberries, which is what my normal breakfast is. And I had bought some blueberries that were on sale and they were starting to go bad. You know how they start to shrivel up a little bit. And I said, oh, I gotta do something with those. You're so fast at ripping, I know. <laughs> and I said, Oh, I think I should make some blueberry sauce. So I said, I'm going to make some French toast. And so I made French toast and blueberry sauce. And um, poured that on top of the um, French toast. And then put Cool Whip on top. And had some bacon. Oh my gosh, it was so good. And then I've got a lot left over. So then 
I can have. I've got um, some cottage cheese and I've got some plain Greek yogurt so I can put my blueberry sauce on that that's left over. I don't know if this has it upside down or not. I don't think it matters which way it goes. I'll just stick it on it. Well, hmm, it kind of does look upside down now. Oh well. And then the edges, I kind of distressed the edges a little bit with my fingernails. Just kind of did the edges like that. Just take your fingernails and just kind of pull them towards you. And then I took the sponge and kind of ran it down the edge a little bit. Just to give it a teeny bit of color. And that's going to go. I put it to one side so it's not right in the middle. And I just realized this is a little bit over. Yep. I need to trim that. Darn it. I should have done that before I glued it down. Let me see if I can trim it just a touch. Okay, so now we know for the next card, let's put this down first. Just crinkle those edges up. I see I've got ink all over my fingers. Sponge it just a touch. Oops, I got ink on there. And I don't know really if there's upside down or not. It's too hard to tell. So we'll just put this down. Yep, I've got all these. Just a little sliver over, I think. And if you want, you could put ribbon or something on here too. I didn't do that, but I just wanted to make it pretty easy. Whew, I'm really starting to sweat since I turned that fan off in here. Whew. Okay. And then that goes on here. So I hired a new girl yesterday and she's so, I love her. I used to work with her a long time ago. So she's coming back. So I'm so glad I got somebody who already knows what they're doing. So that's good. That was definitely a blessing. Because I think I told you last time, the applicants I got were horrible. And I was like, ugh. And then um, I was talking to the supervisor at another center. And she was like, oh, one of my girls has been trying to get over at your center because she lives a lot closer to you. And I was like, really? And she goes, yeah. She said, I'll tell you. I'll tell her that they're, that you're, uh, you have an opening. And I was like, oh, my gosh, thank you so much. And then I got to work. And another girl that um, I used to work with at um, another center I used to work at, um, she also put in for it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So I called her up. So both of them came in for interviews yesterday. And I really wanted to hire both of them, but we only had one opening. So um I hired the one that I had already worked with, but they were both so fantastic. And I was like, wow. I went from having nobody to two, two girls. 
<laughs> Michelle says, easy card. <laughs> you don't think this is an easy card? Girl, this is so easy. I forgot to sponge the edge of this. This is an easy, super easy card. All I gotta do is just emboss it, sponge it, stamp that. All right, this is gonna go on with the dimensionals. So let's grab some of those. Yep, and I was half dead making it too. I was only like barely breathing. If I can do it while I'm barely breathing, then you can do it while you're fully breathing. <laughs> the coloring. Oh my gosh, Michelle, the coloring was the easiest part. That was like one second. I just took the stamp and just went, I took the marker and went, shh, 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 shh. it was like literally less than three seconds to color. That is the easiest coloring you're ever going to do. I could color a hundred of these in probably five minutes. Because you're coloring the stamp and not the um not the actual like flower. That makes it even easier. Oops, I'm missing one. Okay. All right, and then just glue that down. Well, thank God I stopped coughing. Whew. Thought I might have to stop the video. Oh, I forgot to do something. All right, we're going to do some flacking. So I haven't done this in a while. So you take your marker, and some people do it a different way than I do. So what you do is take your marker. And some people do it like this, but I think this ruins the tip. They go like this and flick it like that on the paper. But I don't like doing that because it ruins the tip. So I just take it and I hit it. And it gives you little sprinkles. Can you see them? Can you guys see that? Let me see. There. Can you guys see that? The little sprinkles on there? Oh yeah. So, so you just tap it on there. So you wanna make sure you're tapping like up near the top of the um, marker. So whatever you're hitting, that goes on the bottom, the marker goes on the top. So you're trying to shake some ink out of here. But the other way people do it ruins the tips of those markers. So I try not to do it like this. So this is the same thing I do with my um, Wink of Stella. I lost the tip. So we take the Wink of Stella and do that too. You know, like this. And make the sparkles. We gotta do some gems. And you guys said green, right? You got my paper pit tool. Oops. I think I want to say these are online only, these gems. I'm not positive, but does anybody know for sure? They were from last year's holiday catalog. I think this one's my favorite. I don't know, that's pretty, if I hadn't mucked it up with the not cleaning it. Oh. Okay, so then we're gonna spritz it. paper under here. Oh, 
Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so out of the three, which one do you like the best out of the three colors? Drives a nice car. Thank you. Still sewing. Have I ever broken the pen? Mm -mm. I hate hiring and firing. Me too. Mm, me too. It's the worst. Got me spraying everything. Mm-hmm. Middle. This is my favorite. I love that one too. Actually, I think this is probably my least favorite out of all three, but I love this. these two. I, I like purple and pink. What do you spritz with the shine? This is alcohol. 70% alcohol. If you look at the last video, I show you exactly how to make it in the video before this one. But it's alcohol and um, the shimmer paint. And this is in the description box below the video that you can order it. And the video right before this one shows you how to make it, mix it together. All of them. Um, really pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Okay, you ready for a joke? I have a really funny joke, and this was sent to me by, let me look, hold on. This was sent to me by Diane Hutchinson. So let me read it to you, and it is so funny. The pictures, it has pictures that go with it, so you can't see the pictures, but it's really funny. Okay, <clears throat> it's like a story, kind of. Researchers for the Massachusetts Turnpike Authority found over 200 dead crows near Greater Boston recently, and there was concern that they might have died from avian flu. A bird pathologist examined the remains of all the crows and, to everyone's relief, confirmed that it was not the avian flu. The cause of death appeared to be, to be vehicular impacts. Impacts, yeah. However, during the detailed analysis, it was noted that varying colors of paints appeared on the bird's beaks and claws. By analyzing these paint residues, it was determined that 98% of the crows had been killed by impacts with trucks, while only 2% were, were killed by cars. Um, the Massachusetts Transit Authority then hired um, an ornitholo ornithological beh behaviorist to determine if there was a cause for the disproportionate percentages of trucks killed versus of truck kills versus car kills. He very quickly concluded the cause. When crows eat roadkill, they always have a lookout crow in a nearby tree in a nearby tree to warn of impending danger. They discovered that while all of the lookout crows can shout car 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 not a single one can shout truck 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 <laughs> Send me that joke and I'm reading it going, what is this? Why did she just send me this story? This is like the dumbest story ever. And I got to the end and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Now you have a free night so you can go on a date too. So hopefully I'll have a date. So hopefully it's not as hot there as it is here. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have this stamp, try it yourself. If not, hopefully you've got one that's similar. You can try it. But <clears throat> I hope you loved it. Sorry I had a, a coughing attack on you guys. And hopefully I'll have a date to, to share with you next time. But don't forget, I will not be on on 4th of July, so I'll be on Thursday night, okay? So I will see you then. Take care, everybody, and enjoy your day. And... I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.